Last weekend, the Huntsville Havoc held their seventh annual wiener dog race. Now for four minutes, it is pure, unadulterated dachshund delight on ice. But as WHNT News 19's Chris Davis shows us, the story behind the race's champion is in a league of its own. Get all the stereotypes you've ever heard about dachshunds, fat, stubby, lazy, <laughs> don't apply to Murray. I've always thought he was abnormally fast for a winter dog. The one-year-old miniature dachshund has a need for speed. I feel like while I'm gone at work and school, he's still doing this. That just won't quit. This is all he does, man. Eat, sleep, and play. His owner, Peyton, didn't exactly expect this when he picked out the pup. I thought he would just be a, a fat little weenie dog that would just chill and hang out with us. But now, wouldn't have it any other way. I'd like to have 10 dogs just like him. Which is why Peyton became alarmed last month when all of a sudden the pitter patter of feet went silent. Well, he started feeling like he losing his personality, wouldn't chase his toys, wouldn't have as much fun. The next morning, he took Murray to the vet. And he came back, he was positive with Parvo. Left untreated, Parvo, a contagious disease found in dogs and cats, has a 91% fatality rate. He was kept at the vet's office around the clock for four days. Were you at any point worried that you might lose him? Uh, every day. That's my best friend. I couldn't live without that dude. Murray responded well to treatments and was allowed to go home. He just wasn't the same for about a week, and then he started feeling better after a week. Just a matter of days after Murray got back to his normal <laughs> spastic self, Peyton's mother got an idea. We've always watched the Havoc growing up, and uh, she said the Havoc had a winter dog race, and she thought it'd be funny if Murray could enter it. They only had a week to train this dog at Dachshund. Speed was never Peyton's concern. I thought he was fast. I just thought the other dogs might distract him. But Peyton knew he could use Murray's playfulness to his advantage. I can tell him to go get his toy, and he'll get real fired up and bark if I hold him and he don't have it. So I got my little sister's boyfriend to go out there and hold it and squeak it. He was pretty fired up. I guess he didn't want all the other dogs getting his toy. The first heat, Murray won by a nose. He uh, almost got beat at the end. He slowed down. But after seeing the field of competitors, Peyton got confident about Murray's chances. If I got to the final round, I thought I would win because he, there wasn't as many dogs to distract him and he would go get it. In the final round, Murray lined up on the far left, raced to glory, and claimed his prize. He told me that he was going to play Simba music, like from The Lion King, so I just automatically picked him up like that. <laughs> The grand prize, $200 worth of pet supplies and toys. Fitting, because after Parvo, all of Murray's toys had to be destroyed. Now he's got a wide collection to choose from. The LeBron James of wiener dogs. As the king of Peyton's world. Go get it. I don't know where it's at. Eventually vies to reclaim his crown. Absolutely reigning champion. <laughs> I have to. In Fife, Chris Davis, WHNT News 19.